Hey guys, Will's Photoshop help here, and I'm going to be doing something in this video that's pretty fun, and I hope you guys enjoy the video. Um, as you can probably already tell from the titles that you saw, I'm going to be showing you how to do a lens flare in Photoshop, which is pretty fun to do. Um, it can make images look tons um, more professional, a lot better, a lot more colorful, a lot more vibrant. Um, so if you have no clue what lens flare is, watch the video first. Um, and there's also going to be an image that I'm going to use down in the description. Um, there's a link down to that so you can follow along exactly what I'm doing and get a feel for what you need to do. So first thing I'm going to do is open an image that I got off Google Images. And again, I promise guys, eventually I will have a video showing you how to do this stuff. Um, so I'm just going to open an image. And it's a beautiful 2009 Camaro. It might be even 2010, I don't know. Um, but very beautiful car, very beautiful image. Looks great. But we're going to make it just a touch better. Well, in my opinion at least, we're going to make it a touch better. Um, basically, a lens flare, um, for 99% of the time, is going to be used in Photoshop to create an artificial white source. Um, you can use it for other things, but that is very, very rarely ever used. Um, but most of the time, it's to create an artificial light source. So what I'm going to be doing is showing you how to use a lens flare to make the headlights in this image turn on. Um, you can also use this to do tons of other stuff. You can make artificial suns. Um, you can make light bulbs glow that are off. You like street lamps and like a landscape um, image or anything. It can really make something look a lot better. So um, let's go ahead and get started. It's pretty simple. Um, if you have a locked background, you need to go ahead and unlock it. Um, it's not 100% necessary, but I always do it just out of habit. Um, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to filter, then render. And lens flare. That's pretty simple. Um, there's going to be a little preview image and wherever you click the lens flare will appear. We're going to start on the left headlight to begin with. So what you need to do is try and click in the center of the headlight the best you can. Um, if it's not perfect you can always back step and go and fix it later. Um, but just try and get it somewhere in the center about as best you can. Now there's different types of lens. There's the 50 to 300 millimeter um, 35 millimeter and 105 millimeter. Um, then they have the movie prime, um, which is an extreme lens flare. It's got like light bolts going out of it. Um, not going to work for this situation. My favorite one, um, especially for light sources, like if I was making a fake sun or headlights, like I'm doing now, is the uh, 105 because it's bright and especially these newer cars have the bright headlights. So this is going to look best. Um, you can set the brightness to whatever you like. Um, the more brightness you put in it, the more the image is going to be covered up by that brightness. So keep that in mind. Um, you could, I would say in this you could do anywhere up to 120, and you could do as low as in the 80s. I'm going to do about 110, um, as close as you can get it. All right, so that's 110, so I'm going to go ahead and press OK. And that already looks great. Not only do you get the um, light source, you get... Um, like the effects you would have on a camera if you were photograph um, taking a picture, sorry, of the light source, you would get the little sun blots, you would get strokes of light shooting out, you would get the circle of inner glow. Um, so these are the real effects you would get if you're taking an actual image with a camera of a sun source or a light source. Um, so again, we're going to go now to the right headlight, and the right headlight is going to be a little bit different than the left. You need to put it a little bit more off to the right of the actual bulb or, or it's going to look kind of like light shining right at you and you kind of want it to look like it's shining um, away from you, at least in this image. It's going to be different for every image you use. Um, so you can always toy around with it. It doesn't have to be perfect. Um, so I'm just going to click over here on the right. I'm going to kind of make it a little bit to the right but not so much that it doesn't even look like it's in the bulb. You just got to kind of toy with it and I'm going to use the exact same settings before. Make sure you don't mix match settings since that doesn't look very uniform, doesn't look very good. So that looks great, perfectly centered. Um, so as you can tell guys, I have now gone from having a picture of a Camaro. Um, it was a good picture to start with, I'm not going to lie. Um, one of my favorite cars. But now we have a brightened up headlights Camaro. It looks great, looks sexy, great car, great image. Um, so that's a lens flare, guys. You can use it tons of different ways. I'll have another couple videos showing other things you can do with the lens flare. Um, but I hope this was fun for you guys. It certainly was for me. Again, the same image, if you want to follow along with the video again, will be down in the description. 
um, as long with my other links and some of the other stuff that I like, you know, Twitter, Facebook, all that stuff. So make sure you follow me on those so you can keep up to date with all my videos and all information I'm giving out. Um, so thanks for watching, guys. If you like the video, please rate, comment, and definitely subscribe. If you have any questions, concerns, leave a comment down below. Send me a message. If you have any suggestions for future videos, um, leave a comment on my channel page, youtube.com slash Will's Photoshop Help. Um, leave a comment there, and I will add it over to the tutorials to come. Thanks for watching. See you later.